For today's Bible thought, I want to dip into the book of Jeremiah. Here's Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. Thus says the Lord, stand by the roads and look and ask for the ancient paths where the good way is and walk in it and find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk in it. There's a lot in this short verse which is relevant to us today, even though Jeremiah was prophesying word of God to the people of Judah two and a half thousand years ago. Jeremiah lived in the last days of the kingdom of Judah, the southern kingdom of God's divided people. Very soon, Judah would fall to the Babylonians and its people were taken into exile in Babylon for something like 70 years before they were allowed to return to their homeland. All this came about under the sovereign control of God. God's people persistently disobeyed God. They ignored his laws. They worshipped false gods. So they suffered the judgment that God had repeatedly warned that he would send. What we have in today's verse is an impassioned appeal from God for them to repent before it was too late. First of all, let's notice an encouragement to take God's word seriously. Here's the first bit of the verse again. Stand by the roads and look and ask for the ancient paths where the good way is and walk in it. I think those roads where the people are to stand are to be understood as crossroads. In other words, the people must choose. Are they going to go God's way or are they going to follow their own sinful inclinations? This is a repeated theme in the Old Testament. To take just one example, Moses had said to the people in Deuteronomy 30, See, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil. Therefore choose life that you and your offspring may live. So this was a serious matter that the people had to face up to and make up their minds about. Ask for the ancient paths, God says through Jeremiah. People can be very dismissive of what is old. But the point is, God's word does not change. And what he has spoken in the past is true today and every day. People in Jeremiah's day were foolish if they thought that God's word was out of date. Just as people today are making a big mistake if they throw out the eternal truths of God's word. The Bible spells out the good way. If we want the good life, we must listen to what God says. Let's notice, secondly, in Jeremiah 6, 16, a refusal to listen and obey. Did you notice the last few words of the verse? But they said, we will not walk in it. No, thank you. We don't want to go that way. We will do it our way. It was a tragic mistake. It was the path that led to judgment. Now, fast forward about 600 years from that moment of time when Jesus, only a few days before the cross, wept over Jerusalem, where the people were saying precisely the same kind of thing. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it, how often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you were not willing you were not willing. It's exactly the same as in Jeremiah's day when the people said, we will not walk in it, the good way of faithfulness to God. Finally, let's notice in our Jeremiah verse, a pointer to Jesus. Walk in it and find rest for your souls. Does that phrase ring bells in your mind? There's that great invitation of the Lord Jesus at the end of Matthew chapter 11, where he says, Come to me, all who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And he goes on to talk about taking his yoke upon us and learning from him. That means truly living under his lordship and obeying him and his words. And what does that lead to? He tells us, you will find rest for your souls. Jesus was deliberately taking the words of Jeremiah 6.16 and saying, those words are fulfilled in me. So let me read that Old Testament verse again. Let's take to heart the encouragement to take God's word seriously. 
Let's resolve, with God's help, not to refuse to listen and obey. Let's thank God for Jesus, our Saviour and Lord, the one to whom we can come to find rest and salvation, whom to obey will lead to rest for our souls. Thus says the Lord, stand by the roads and look and ask for the ancient paths where the good way is and walk in it and find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk in it. <laughs>